okay, we continue the the bridge, okay, because bridge is very very important to the sound. It's very critical, very crucial to how we produce sound. Okay, well, now we talk about the measurement from here to the cut of f hole. We talk about the string lens. But another very important fact we have to think is the arch. Is a string going this, this? Okay. So how we decide that? Now we have to think uh, the the height of the fingerboard. Okay. The height of the fingerboard you measure down from here to here is like a twenty one. Okay, from here to here. Okay, let's see. Measure here from here to here is twenty one. Is it twenty one? Because Ma Malaysia, Malaysia is uh, very humid. Most the bridge is a little low. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, the, the fingerboard. Oh. So uh, the correct height of a bridge is 21 millimeter. Okay. But this one, how much this is? Okay, I want you to measure your violin and tell me how much the height of the fingerboard. And your fingerboard? No, fingerboard, until down, going down. Good. Yes. 20. 20, right? How is yours? Until you until you think. One seven something. Ah, seventeen or something. Or 17 eh? something. So it's far too little, so far down. So this is why if you, if you see this violin and your violin, this violin, uh, the string has a, has an angle going up and going down, and your violin is very very flat. Huh? It's very, very, it's, it's, it's not very much, not much like this, but your violin is very flat. Yeah, like so you don't have in, enough tension. Not enough tension. Not right? enough tension. Because if higher like this, the tension will be higher. Or if it's flat, there's no tension. Okay? So, bridge, how high should it be bridge? Okay? So this fingerboard is 21. The bridge is like a 35. Okay, measure your bridge. If your bridge height is 35. Mm -hmm. So how, how high is yours? Highest point is 34. 34, okay. Thirty-three. Yes. Twenty-eight. Okay. So, have you measured? Not yet. Okay. Please measure. Uh. No, 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 the bridge. 35. 35. 31. 31. 32. 
Hmm. Okay. The bridge height from 33 to 35 is acceptable. It's okay. 30, 34 is fine. 33 is okay. 35 is okay. 34 is okay. 34 is fine. But not lower than that. Okay, if lower than that, we have a problem. Or if higher than that, we also have a problem. Uh, the sound problem. Okay, of course, it's not a, a, a problem of death and life. Okay? <laughs> um. Okay. So, next measurement. Next measurement, please. The clearance. The clearance between string and the fingerboard. So, you said your bridge is 35, right? But your bridge is too high, according to your fin mm. fingerboard. How much is your fingerboard? Twenty. Twenty, right? Oh. If your fingerboard is twenty, your bridge is thirty-five. Mm. It means is the clearance. What is clearance? Is the distance between the string and the bridge uh, and the fingerboard is too big? So if you measure it now, I would say. E string is more than four millimeter, and the G string is more than six millimeter. If I'm correct, okay, measure it now. Measure it, please. Very nice. Tell me how high must be more than six. How much? Eight. 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 That's like a cello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, more than a cello. Okay, then the E string. Five. That's that's also a, a cello. <laughs> okay. You mm. So <laughs> you will be very difficult for you to play high position. Yes, and uh, the the intonation will also change. For example, pass your violin to me, please. A violin like this, the bridge, the clearance is so high, is eight, and uh, to the bridge. So what happened if I play? If I play a violin, okay, if I play, like uh, Same place, same place, eh? Half a tone. So how you, how you control your intonation? Will be very difficult if you if you think this is correct, but it will push down. It's high to high, and also for high position, you need a lot of uh, power to push the string down. That's very very tiresome. Okay, so what is the correct? What is the correct experience? So the question is, what is the correct experience? So how much is correct? Okay, E string going down to the bridge uh, to the to the fingerboard. E string mm -hmm. is three millimeter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> going down, E string going down is three millimeter. Okay, three millimeter. On the G string side, five millimeter. Mm. <laughs> okay, G string side, five millimeter. Eight. <laughs> Eight is much too much. Okay. Uh, why? Why? Why we have this uh, in Malaysia? Why all the fingerboards are too low? All the fingerboards are too low. Okay, and then I tell you the reason. This is something else. Uh, <coughs> you you know the reason, and uh, then you, when you buy a violin overseas, or when you choose a violin, you know how to choose a violin for the weather here in in, in Malaysia. Okay, it's because the violin changes. When you buy a violin, 
uh, if violin is made in uh, Guangzhou, for example, Scar Chow, okay? Scar Chow is in Guangzhou, okay? China. So Guangzhou is humid. Guangzhou weather is very, very similar to Singapore. So it's okay. But if you buy a violin in Beijing, Beijing is very dry. Or from Europe, Europe is very dry. So the wood is also very, very dry. So when you come to Malaysia, from here, uh, it's wet, so the humidity will go into the wood. So the wood will expand. The wood will go bigger. So when the back going bigger, the back going bigger this way, going this way, bigger. Then the finger will angle will drop. The angle will go down. The whole angle is coming down. Same violin you bring to Europe, for example, Norway, or bring the countries that use very much uh, air conditioning, use very much heat, heater, they use a heater. The humidity level is lower than 30%. Then the wood is dry. Then this is going to shrink, it's getting smaller this way. Then the fingerboard is going up. It's very interesting. In Norway, when I had a violin from China, bring to Norway, from Guangzhou to Norway, after one, one year, two year, all the bridges are too low. Because the finger was growing up. So I, I don't understand. Why? This is growing. <laughs> it's like a baby, it's going, going up. Yes, it does. So, in Malaysia, buy a violin, make sure, make sure the fingerboard is last low. It's better to be a little higher. If it's high, it's okay. Correct is okay, but not low. Okay, because it's likely going to be lower. Okay, the bridge. If you buy a new violin, the bridge is a little low, it's okay. Because the fingerboard is going to drop. But not high. Why? Of course, you can always ask the teacher to, to cut it. Can they just make it? <laughs> okay, this is, this is uh, 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 very important. The, the clearance of the, of the, the violin. For example, this violin. Now, we come back to the sound now. This morning, morning we're only to talk. In the afternoon, we actually work on each violin. Actually, we see the result. Now we only know the reason, okay, why. Why this violin is uh, not powerful, please measure the fluids. Yes, measure. Four. Four? No, 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 it should not be four. How much is it? Four? Three, 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 three. Three. Mm -hmm. Two, three. On this side? Six. Okay, then let me see. I want to measure it myself. Theoretically, it has three, but not quite three. It's because you see, this string has cut into the wood. Okay, this string already cut into the bridge, and he has also cut into the bridge. Okay, that also dim the sound, make sound not easily come out because it's you know inside. Yeah, into the wood now. Okay. There is, there is something else I want to talk today, but you don't have to remember, and uh, also uh, it's difficult for you to remember. But, you, but uh, someday if you meet something like that, you will remember, oh, Daniel talked about this before, okay?